Long time no see when it comes to uh, video reviews or what have you here on Road Beyond. Now it's time to talk about a little bit of older James Bond movies. This time reacting to the second one, 007 uh, from Russia with Love. Now I've been watching most James Bond movies throughout the spring and summer 2023. So my video project is a little bit lagging behind. But let's try to fix that and uh, let's focus on the trailer while I will tell you a little bit what to think of it? Let's watch the trailer and uh, I'll talk on top of things. So obviously, since this is from 1963, early on, the graphics and all that style was very, very different than you might see nowadays. And this is so much better than the first uh, James Bond movie, with way better action, uh, now including a lot of gadgets versus Dr. No, and in general, the plot is way better. However, this is not nowhere near of my favorite James Bond movies, but this is, in my opinion, actually quite entertaining in so many ways. The most important thing is that the pacing is very much top-notch. I mean, it doesn't even matter that this feels like some 60 years old movie by now, because the thing here is... Sean Connery has the charisma. They're interesting, uh, you know, villains, say this, to say it in a one way, or even allies to James Bond. So it's not so much about just a lot of action and explosions, what you might have later on in the era, but more like this comp compelling uh, combination of uh, James Bond charisma, you know, making love and, you know, playing those uh, attract attraction things you know, on the screen as well as, you know, having the gadgety things and interesting fist fights and what have you. I think in a way this Bond movie actually introduced us a lot of those things you, would, which you might find later on. That is, you will find uh, fist fights and gadgety things, like said. You will have these kind of a classic suit up things and, you know, in a way, the very masculine uh, ways of doing stuff. And of course, you have kissing and hugging and all that stuff. But you also have this villains which are I don't know kind of arch type of something that we see nowadays you know they are tough but that doesn't mean they are crude or something like that it also has these interesting uh, female uh, characters which is not almost so given with these kind of movies when it's all about the man handling things I'm not saying uh, any of that kind of a modern race of that you have to have a certain uh, quotas be it of different gender, genders or, you know, people of color or any kind of that kind of stuff. But I mean, James Bond, in a way, while it has, of course, dated in so many ways. I mean, look at the sex scenes and whatnot here, and you will feel like, yeah, that's kind of a, like, no, not today. But in a way, for example, when you have this kind of a KGB female villain, you will learn, like, okay, this is some way to incorporate that kind of stuff, which is not that common nowadays anymore. I mean, still isn't very common. But this kind of a movie is, uh, like I said, it's um, kind of a roller coaster ride. You have uh, those moments when you feel like not much is happening, and then you have uh, like chases, and whether it's about boats, helicopter, what have you, a lot of these things which are very, very common in Bond movies nowadays. I think it's actually hard to find a Bond movie where there is no skiing, no boat chase, no car chase, no helicopters, no diving certain elements just tend to happen with explosions and whatnot but in my opinion from russia with love is still uh, kind of a worth the watch it's definitely kind of a classic bond movie in so many ways and uh, i cannot say but maybe give it a go unless you have seen it too many times already but this trailer gives you a lot of insight what's going on it's not just explosions or just some goofy fist fights or what have you but a lot of things going on and uh, in a way that actually is ready to challenge the test of time. What do you think about From Russia With Love? Let me know. For me, 7 out of 10. See ya and bye bye.